Hey guys, in this video we'll be looking at the steps and how to solve the Laplace transform of t cubed times e to the power of negative 2t. So from our table we'll be using this one over here and this one over here to solve this problem. So if we focus on this section over here right now, e to the power of negative 2t, from our table we can see that if we zoom in, our a is negative 2 if we focus on this section only. So a equals to negative 2. And that will give us the Laplace transform of 1 on s minus by a, which is negative 2. So this would be 1 on s plus 2. Or another way of writing it is s plus 2 on negative 1. However, our question is not as simple as that. We have a t cubed to worry about. So looking at our Laplace transform table, our function is very similar to this over here, negative t to the power of n, f of t, where n is the power. However, in our question, we have no negative. So when we look at our Laplace transform solution, we have a negative. And it's telling us to find the derivative so dn on dsn of the function f of t and we know our f of t is our function here e to the power of at which we found earlier for this part so we're taking the derivative of s plus 2 to the power of negative 1 and also because our n is free we're taking the third derivative so if we do this step by step by finding the first derivative of s plus 2 to the power of negative 1 using our chain rule we have negative 1 s plus 2 minus 1 to the indices and from the chain rule we take the derivative of the inside of the bracket which is just 1 and our second derivative is negative 1 times negative 2 so 2 times s plus 2 negative 3 oh yeah and don't worry about this negative yet we'll include it later so our solution for d cubed ds cubed equals to 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 times s plus 2 to negative 4 and now we include our negative so if we put negative on both sides this would be plus and this was what we were looking for earlier so our solution would be 6 divided by s plus 2 to the power of 4.